Hi friends, it's three o'clock here where I live and that means it's time to chat with you. This is Penny Heart to Heart. I've been doing these every day, talking about a new tip or technique or just chatting with you about what's going on and how we can um, better get through this together. So um, yesterday we talked about the burden basket and um, I gave you a, a great tip, one of my favorite ones about having a basket that you can dump your burdens in so you don't carry them around. I also mentioned yesterday that I'm going to start giving away books. So um, my book, Love Your Life No Matter What, 76 Tips to Live Life with Love and Gratitude. I will be giving those away. Um, I'm gonna give one away every Friday. So as we're together here, if you just type in the um, comment bar, I'd love your book. I will take all those names that say that in the comment bar and on Friday I'll pick a name and you will receive a book. I will um, connect with you and get a mailing address so we, I know where to send them to and I'll send you one of my books. Um, my book is full of all these tips and techniques that I am sharing here as we gather um, together and talk. I think this is day six, day six already. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what made me start when I did start, but I um, think I'll continue this for the duration, for however long it is that we are kind of in this world situation where many of us are in our homes every day, all day, and um, I think I'll just keep doing this as long as I can come up with new ideas to share with you. and. Um, there's some value here. I'll keep doing this every day. So I'm grateful for you that join me. I've been getting a lot of um, interest. In fact, not everybody is able to do it, I guess, at this three o'clock. And so a lot of people watch it afterwards. And that's great too. I love to see those numbers of views, how many people view the video. So I, I want to first say something today before I get onto the topic that I want to talk about. Um, a couple of things, actually. The first thing I want to be very, um, us to be aware of is that many of us are home and um, because we've been um, sent home from work to work from home. Many of us are home because our kids are out of school, sent home from school to stay home for a while. And um, many of us maybe have a family member that's ill that we're home with. But there is also a big group of folks that are out there still working. The ones that are in the grocery store helping us um, keep our food available. The ones in the healthcare world that are out there working and they don't have the luxury of being at home. And there are some, there are businesses still open that people are out there working, serving us so that we can um, have things available that we need during this time. And I want to really acknowledge them and keep them in our hearts that not everybody has this gift of time where they can sit at home and um, spend this home, this time in the safety of their home. And so let's remember them. I made a post this morning on Facebook about it's Thankful Thursday. Every Thursday I make a post about what I'm thankful for. And this morning's post I talked about healers and how many healers we have. And I think the first thing that comes to mind is physicians and nurses. And, um, but remember the first responders, remember the, um, all of those first responders, firemen and EMTs and all the people that are out there helping us in that way. But also remember all the people that it takes to run a medical facility all of the office people, the people that greet you at the desk if you go to the emergency room. There's so many people that it takes to run a medical facility, people in the cafeteria and custodians. All of those people are not giving, given this space of time to be home because they're out there working and serving us. And I think they're all healers. So physicians and nurses and um, EMTs and first responders and energy workers. I would never ever forget them because I am a big believer in energy work and healers of that kind. So um, religious leaders that are healers. So many people are healers and so today on Thankful Thursday I want to acknowledge all of them 
and um, join me in being thankful that we have them in our life and in our world to help us during this time. And going off of that, oh, I'm, I'm glad to see all you people. Hello. Hello. Um, and tell me where you're from because some of you I don't know. And so when you make a comment, um, tell me where you're from. And those of you who just joined me, I just went over that I'm going to give one of my books away every Friday on here. So if you just put in a comment that says, I'd love your book, I will take the names that comment that and uh, every Friday I'll draw a name and I'll connect with you for a mailing address and, and give away one of my books. So I'm going to do that every Friday. So don't let that opportunity slip away. A lot of what I talk about you can find in my book and so I'd love to gift that to someone. So we're talking about healers and Thankful Thursday and um, how every Thursday I post on Facebook and other places, the other social media, what I'm thankful for every Thursday. And if we can all get in that habit of doing a Thankful Thursday, that's a, that's a fun and heart-filling thing to do. So today I was thankful for healers. I just talked about doctors and everything, but what I wanna talk about is how all of us can be a healer. All of us have the capacity and the superpower of healing. Now let me explain that. I um, wrote and I share in this, um, the link with this, when I, my little writing with this video, I always link you to something so that you can read about one of my tips. And today I linked you to Love Pusher. I think we can all be healers because I think love is the biggest healing power that we have. Love is the biggest healing power that we have. And I totally believe that. And we all have the capacity to love. So it's only logical if we all have the capacity to love, we all have the capacity to be healers. I will share with you how I use this. I call it pushing love, pushing love, a love pusher. I um, have mentioned that I work a lot with hospice and um, I go into rehab facilities and talk to people in um, rehab and the clients there, family groups, things like that, grief groups. And before I go in to speak, and I do this even for a presentation, even if it's an Optimist Club or a conference that I'm speaking at, I do this technique. And it's something that we all can do, and that's why I'm going to teach it to you today. I will walk up and down the hallways of hospice or of a hospital or a place that I am going to speak in, and I visualize in my mind pushing love. I visualize pushing love into the facility, into the walls of the building, into the chairs that people are going to sit in. And I will walk up and down and just breathe deeply and just visualize that I'm with every breath pushing love, pushing love out into the air, into the people that are in that building and the, to the people that are going to listen to me. I think it has energy and I believe it has power. And that's why I believe that we all have the power to be healers. I, if I'm going to do a presentation and it's in a room full of chairs, before the presentation, before people come in, and oftentimes I do this the night before, if I, I'm there in time, I will go in and walk the room. I will walk the perimeter. I will walk chair by chair. I will put my hand on the back of the chairs and I will visualize who's going to be sitting in that chair. And I will visualize myself pushing love to them. I push love into the room that we're going to gather in to hear my presentation the next day or that afternoon. I visualize what their faces are going to look like and I visualize who they are. I do the perimeter, I go around and touch chairs, and then I go stand up in front on the stage or wherever I'm going to be standing to present. And I visualize pushing love into the entire room. I push it. I push it with every breath. I fill every corner of the room. Again, I put love into the walls. I push love everywhere. By the time the room the people gather in the room to hear me speak, I feel like I have already met them because I have visualized their faces. I have visualized who they are. I have visualized their smiles. And I have visualized already giving them love, 
Giving love is an intimate thing. So if you are pushing love to someone, you already feel like you know them. So when they gather in the room to hear me speak, I feel comfortable. I feel like they're already my friends. I already know them. When I'm in hospice and I walk the halls and I feel visualized pushing love into the rooms, pushing love into the hallways, pushing love into the families that are there with their loved ones, it has energy. So I'm teaching you this because I would love for you to practice this superpower. But now more than ever, we need more healers in this world. We need people pushing love, the strongest power that we have. And so if you um, think of all those healers out there that are working, that are working to serve us in the hospitals and in the clinics and in the grocery stores, visualize their faces. Visualize pushing love to them. If you are know someone in your family that still is, is working in one of those jobs, doesn't have this capacity to be home um, for this space of time like many of us do, visualize them. Even if it's someone that you know, if it's someone in your family, visualize them. Visualize pushing love to them. Now, one other tweak on this. Many of us who are home and forced to be together for this extended period of time, I should say invited to be together for this extended period of time. And even though it's people that we love, our spouses, our family, our kids, um, some of us have larger families, maybe you have generations living together, grandma and grandpa maybe live with you. And that's great. And many of you are used to going to work and to school and spending you know, evening hours and maybe early morning hours with them. But all of a sudden we find ourselves together 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day can be uncomfortable, even if you love them. So practice pushing love to your family, the family that you're spending so much time with. If um, you have kids, encourage your kids to think about this for their brothers and sisters. Don't, you know, because I know close quarters can cause arguments, can cause fights, can cause nitpicky kind of behavior. So teach this to your family. We're going to push love to each other. Doesn't mean you have to be all gushy and say, I love you, I love you every second. It means we're going to visualize each other in a loving bubble. Like we're pushing love to you. We're surrounding you with love. We're surrounding you with love. And this works particularly well when you are angry. If your kids are having an argument or your spouse has just some, said something that didn't go over so well with you and you start to get angry, Switch that mindset, stop your anger right there and imagine, visualize, pushing love to them, surrounding them with a bubble of love. And the bubble of love works good with kids because they understand bubbles. They understand, yeah, I can see you in a bubble. Let's, let's visualize mom, we'll put mom in a bubble of love. And so teach this to your kids. Now, if you are in these close quarters, 24 hours, and don't forget to, um, Plan some activities that you are a part. Even if you have a small home, there are places that you can go. One can go here, say, now we're gonna you know, go for an hour. We'll be here, I'll be here, you'll be here. We'll read or watch TV or something. But plan time to be just separate, just a little bit. Um, we are having a blizzard here and I've been trying to get outside and walk and today that's not possible because of the snow. But if you're in a place where you can get outside and go for a walk, and you're in together, locked down 24 hours, maybe you say, okay, we're gonna start, you go that direction, I'll go this direction, and we'll come back and meet. And give that, your, yourself that little space of time apart where you can take a separate walk. Things like that. You can come up with lots of ideas like that. And then, while you're doing that separate walk, visualize pushing love to your partner that you're going to meet at the end of the walk. Become a love pusher. It is a superpower we all have. It's a superpower we can all do. And it is the strongest healing power I believe there is. So let's talk, let's try to do that today. Um, yesterday we talked about the burden basket and dropping your burdens and putting them away. Today we're talking about pushing love. Again, 
I want to just encourage you. I'm giving books away on Friday, so anybody who puts "I'd love your book" in the in the um, search bar or in the comment bar, I will take all of those names and do a drawing on Fridays. And if you watch this later, it's only fair if you put in there "I'd love your book." You can be in the drawing too, so it doesn't have to be if you catch this live because I know a lot of people can't just join us every day at three o'clock. So um, if you watch this video at a later time, you can still put that in the comment bar and I will see it. I also have worked all morning to get all of these so far. This is number six. I've uploaded them all to YouTube, to my YouTube channel. So if you want to binge on Penny's Heart to Heart, we're all in this together. That's what they're labeled. And they're labeled day one, two, three, four, five, and this will be six. I'll put up um, right now when we're done. So they'll all be on YouTube. So if you want to share these um, and you don't want to scroll through my Facebook page to find them all, they're all gathered together on YouTube. And they will continue to gather there um, for as long as we do this. Maybe, maybe even after um, we're back at work and back at school, maybe I'll still do these. Anyway, I thank you for joining me. I know it's a commitment to share a piece of time with me every day. I'm honored that you join me and listen to these tips and techniques and I'm, um, I hope that you try them. I hope that you tell me how you like them, how they work for you, and um, I hope that you share them with others and share these videos. This has been Penny Heart to Heart. Remember, we're all in this together. This is day six. Go out and be a love pusher. Thanks for watching.